I'm sitting in this room two years ago working on my YouTube channel. At this point, I'm making a full-time income, making videos on my hobby of game development. I'd actually succeeded at my massive goal of being able to quit my job and do this full-time. But there was still a little problem. There was $1,500 in my bank account and it was going down fast. I'm in a slow period and whenever I was in a slow period, I would often do silly things like get three days worth of food on my food shops instead of seven. So it felt like I was spending less money just to keep the demons at bay a little bit. I'd also have this like looming little gloomy feeling inside, like almost butterflies in my stomach because I needed to get views on my videos fast. Otherwise, I don't know what's gonna happen. I had rent to pay and I had no other option. I was relying on getting views for money, which is the fatal mistake I spoke about in my last video. So when it came to work, naturally, the thing I stressed the most about was video ideas. The idea had to be really good. Otherwise, I'm gonna spend a month on this video because I have to make a whole game for it and it's gonna be all for nothing. At the time, my revenue per 1,000 views hovered between one to two dollars. So imagine this, if I wanted to get a protein shake from a shop, if I wanted to treat myself to a little protein shake, that's 1000 people viewing my video. That's the cost of that protein shake. So to get by, I needed to get millions of views on average every month. It couldn't carry on like this. Welcome to the channel. My name is Brian and I help you make money from your hobby so that you don't have to work a job anymore. I made this channel for ambitious people like you. So if you resonate with that and that's what you want to achieve, everyone else on this channel is doing the same thing. So subscribe. It wasn't until I made a life changing but almost embarrassing realization that I finally fixed this problem. And that realization happened when I ran out of video ideas. It had been about three or four days and I just kept trying to think of ideas and I couldn't think of anything good. So I thought, why don't I do the only option that I have left, which is to remake one of the ideas that I've already made, but this time, let's actually make the game good. You see, in the past, I would rush the game just so I had something to show in the video so I could post the video and get the views because I was reliant on it. I had to basically be on the hamster wheel and I had to post videos as often as possible to pay the bills. And that's the hamster wheel that a lot of YouTubers end up getting stuck in. But anyway, I decided to remake the game and that game was Balloons Tower Defense, but you're the balloon. The original video that blew up my channel. Because I knew it probably wouldn't get as many views as the original video, but it would be enough views to keep me ticking by and basically keep me from having to go back to a job. So I posted that, I made the game and I made it quite good and I posted it without expectations. And that is when I had my realization. And that realization is, if I want to make money, the world doesn't owe me anything. You see, in the past, I had this mindset where I need to make this money by this age and you know the world owes me this because I'm this ambitious person and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, me, me, me. I didn't realize that I owed the world something because as soon as I gave the world a good game, people started making videos about it on their channels and actually, eventually, really big YouTubers started making videos about it on their channels. Vi YouTubers with 7 million, 8 million subscribers. The entire Balloons Tower Defense community started talking about the game and actually, at some point in the next couple of weeks, one of the biggest Balloons Tower Defense creators reached out to me and started paying me to keep making videos on that game and keep updating that game so that he can keep making videos on it on his channel because of how well it was performing. So basically for a few months, we had that deal going where he'd pay me and I'd keep making videos and it literally tripled my income. But that's not all that happened when I started giving value and caring about giving the world something because all of a sudden I had finally a community of people that were looking forward to what I had to post next. They wanted to know what I was going to do next because of how much they liked my game. In the past, I'd post videos, get millions of views, and then no one would want to watch the videos after it because they knew that the game I was making wasn't going to be that good anyway. I later leveraged that same community to make my own commercial game, and that game did $100,000 in sales in the first month when it released, and I say this a lot on my channel, but 
That's what giving value does. And that original game, Balloons Tower Defense But You're the Balloon, is currently sitting on 400,000 downloads. It still gets like 500 downloads a day, even though I haven't made any content on it in over a year and a half now. When I was thinking about getting views, it was all me, me, me. How can I get more views so, I, so that I can get more money, so that I can keep doing this and not have to go to my job? A big part of succeeding in business and actually thriving instead of just surviving is realizing that you owe the world something and that the world doesn't inherently owe you shit. It sounds silly, but realize that there's real people watching your content, consuming your products, and that if you make them satisfied, if you give them what they want, then you will be rewarded for it. And actually, you'll be rewarded in ways that you don't even realize. If you provide value, it's going to do things that you don't expect, just like it did for me. When I posted that game, it was a free game. I couldn't actually charge for it because it was a copy of a popular game. So I, I would have got sued if I charged for it, but it actually became the reason I then had the community to sell my Steam game to. And when I made that Steam game, I made sure it was a good Steam game. So now it's still selling very well to, to this day, even though I haven't actually made a video on that game in four or five months. It's a good game, so people keep making videos on it, which is driving sales to it. And that's all because I cared about the value that I was providing. If you want my full system for turning your hobby into a business, I'm currently making a course just for that. If you want to know when it's out, I think it will go on pre-sale this Thursday. So if you want to be one of the first people to know about it, you can join the waiting list for it in the description. See you next video.